Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Light 1805RB. This is a great, smaller, lightweight couples model. You have a slide-out sofa, which helps open up this living space, and you get a large rear bathroom. Let's actually start on the kitchen, though. A couple things I like about the Coleman Light. One is the fact it is a seamless countertop, which in a lighter weight model like this is fantastic. A lot of times, it's your old-style T-mold, and you'll have the T-mold and everything pop off. That's not going to be an issue here. Not only does it look nicer and it's more durable, but it also allows you to undermount the sink. That way, when you put a sink top cover on there, it's more flush, and it just gives you a cleaner overall look. The sink itself is a double basin, the smaller one on the left, larger one on the right. Personally, I would have liked to kind of switch the uh, the sink around because I like to wash on the left, rinse on the right, but it is it still serves the same purpose. You'll also see the high-rise pull-out faucet, which again, having a pull-out faucet in a travel trailer this size is a lot more rare, so I like that they are putting some of the nicer amenities in here. Moving over is the three burner cooktop with the glass cover so you can utilize this as prep space. Right behind you will see there is a backsplash. You can light that up if you so choose. Just kind of, you know, again gives it a little bit more appeal and look. But it, you know, it does serve a purpose. The backsplash is easy to clean. When you fold this up, the glass kind of serves as a double backsplash there and it opens up your three burners. All the knobs do light up. This little button right here also controls the light in the oven. And obviously you have the oven there if you want to do some baking. Over to the side, underneath the sink, you notice big storage area. You have two uh, access points to this storage, one right here, the other one right around the corner here. So that way, uh, you know, again, you have a couple different ways to get in there, plus a large drawer right underneath. If you need to plug anything in in the kitchen, you will have an electrical outlet underneath the cabinets here, LED light to help brighten things up, storage up top, Open that up just to kind of show you what you're working with. And then over to this side is the microwave and the refrigerator, or and the uh, hood, sorry. Next to that is the refrigerator. Stainless steel panel. It's a little bit different style here for the 2020. You have a handle. You have this little uh, latch right here. Just push that with your thumb. Opens up nice and easy. Uh, the thing I do like about this one, it's a Dometic fridge, but the thing I do like about it is the, uh, the uh, trays here the shelves are removable so it's nice and easy to clean they're plastic as well and they have holes in them so that way you know they don't trap all the crumbs and everything in there which is kind of nice it of course it might end up in the bottom of your fridge but again just making cleaning a little bit easier for you when you make your way into the bathroom as i mentioned it is a large bathroom space you will see the big hanging rod here that entire thing is a wardrobe you have double doors there uh, so that way you can have plenty of clothes and it's a big enough space that you can actually get dressed in the bathroom Which uh, a lot of travel trailers you don't get that especially a smaller one like this the bathroom is usually pretty cramped You will notice the sink right over to the side decent countertop space on both sides electrical outlet Storage underneath the sink you have plenty of room for a trash can as well as access to your plumbing You'll notice the two drawers right over to the side and the mirrored medicine cabinet up above Robe hooks, you have a place to put your towels. As far as the toilet, I will take a seat here. Now, my toes do touch the wall, but it's, it's still very comfortable. As far as my shoulder space, I obviously have plenty of room there. And then over to this side is the tub shower. So I'll take a step in here uh, just to kind of give you an idea of size. So I'm six foot. As you can see, I'm just clearing the ceiling. With that skylight, I have a little bit extra room. If you're 6'2", maybe 6'3", you can stand in here. As eh, 6'3", you'll probably have to bend over a little. Uh, but if you're any shorter than that, you'll be just fine. You'll see the hand wand here just to make showering up a little bit easier, as well as a shelf behind me for your soap and shampoo. And because this is a tub, your shower curtain is much more likely to stay in there. So that way you're not going to have water all over the floor. Right outside of the bathroom is the entertainment area. It shows you right where the TV goes there connections for it directly behind that as well as your audio video jacks which lead into your multimedia center here this unit is bluetooth capable and it controls the speakers both in here as well as outside you'll also notice your thermostat is located here this does control both your heat as well as your ducted ac some additional storage up top just kind of open that up to give you an idea of the space same thing right down here some additional storage there Underneath that is your fuse panel as well as your breaker uh, breaker box and then right uh, adjacent to that is your propane leak detector. Now as I mentioned this one does have a small slide. 
So the, the nice thing about having a shallow slide like this one, it's not super deep, is the fact that even when the slide is in, it only comes to right about here. So that way you still have full access to the refrigerator as well as the bathroom if you have to pull over on the side of the road. The, but having the slide definitely helps open this space up and they put the jackknife style sofa in it. It has the removable armrests. Uh, you know, they're not super, super useful. They're a little low for me, but it's definitely better than having nothing at all. And for the center one, you can drop down the center console. So you kind of get like a pseudo theater seating here, which is pretty nice. You also notice the cup holders there. And because it is a jackknife sofa, it drops down into a bed. More importantly, in my opinion though, is all the storage underneath. You can see right over there is the sink top cover I mentioned. So as I said, you can put that on top of the sink so you have all that prep space. It also comes with this foldable table. Because this one doesn't have a dinette, you have the table, you can set it up right here, it gives you a place to eat. Or if you wanna take it outside, by all means, you can certainly do that too. Right up front is the bedroom. So uh, you have the queen size bed right here. As far as size, folks, take a look at this a smaller camper and you have a nice big bed my feet aren't hanging off no problems here so if you're a taller person you're sick of your feet hanging off you don't have to worry about it in this uh, particular model both sides are nightstands with USB ports so you have a place to charge your cell phones at night underneath that you have a shelf or not I'm sorry you do have a shelf there more importantly a drawer so it gives you a spot to store some of your items Wardrobe on both sides. You have that big wardrobe in the back. You also have two more on the sides of the bed and additional storage going across the top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 1805RB. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Thanks to the rocker switch, that way you just flip that and it will raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light up front for added visibility at night. Directly behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. You'll see rails here for your battery. And coming up the front is a diamond etch plating, helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also notice the three-quarter front cap with LED lights built in, so it has that great look at night. And right around the corner is solar prep. So simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired, and it will trickle charge your battery. For the pass-through compartment, you'll notice the covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is slam latch and it's magnetic, so you can put it up just like that. You don't have any plastic tabs or anything that are going to break on you. If you take a look inside, you can see how large this pass-through is. Again, on a somewhat shorter RV, this is a huge pass-through, a great thing to have. If you have a grill or some of your bigger executive chairs, they will actually fit in here. And it's the same size door on the other side. Fully laminated sidewall on this product. You will also notice the power awning up top. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. The two outside speakers, as I mentioned inside, those are connected to that multimedia center, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. For your entrance, you'll see the big foldable grab handle, so that way you have good control when entering or exiting the RV. You also have the more ride step above step system. If you haven't seen these before, they are a very, very stable step. I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can kind of hop up and down on them. There's almost no flex to it whatsoever. It gets rid of that springboard effect when entering or exiting the RV. It also has aluminum tread, so that way they don't rust on you. The grip tape on there, so if it's wet, you have some additional traction. And the feet are adjustable, so that way you can adjust the steps to the campsite. Going back a little bit further, you have outside TV hookup if you want a TV out here. If you're going boondocking or going somewhere you don't have city water, you'll want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank and that will be the entry point for that. Right down below are the aluminum alloy rims, so that way again, just like the steps, they won't rust, they'll stay looking gorgeous on you. And you can't really see it, but this one does have a fully enclosed, uh, insulated and heated underbelly. So that way, if you're gonna be in some colder climates, it'll help keep that, uh, help prevent some things in there from freezing, as well as hopefully help keep some of the critters out uh, during the off season. Right in the back is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Right behind that's your black tank flush. So this, instead of having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just hook it up right here. Black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. 
This one also has power stabilizer jacks. This control right here will control the rear too. There's another one up front underneath the pass-through to control the front too. Remember folks, that is not auto level. You still want to use blocks to level out your camper, but once you have it level, you can just uh, push that button to drop the stabilizers down. That way your RV isn't rocking as you're walking around inside. Square tubular bumper on the back with end caps. That way you have a spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is the spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's super easy to get at. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees. And if you look right up top, you'll also notice this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easy to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Coming around to the side, Right over here is where your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug into, your cable inlet. City water inlet, if you have city water, right down underneath is your termination and you will see both your black and gray tank valves located there. All right folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Coleman Light 1805RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.